We started doing the extended hours program in June of 2015. The main reason was is we realized we were missing and unable to provide care to a certain patient population. A lot of our patients work um, and they basically just did not have the time to take off work to come into the doctor. A lot of patients needed a follow-up of blood pressure or diabetes, but taking that one month follow-up after just missing work to do that was not feasible for them. So we experimented and started doing the evening hours. One of the things we do with the extended hours is basically we're trying to reach out to patients. We're trying to provide better access and better quality care to them and make healthcare more available to them when they need it, rather than doing it when it's convenient for us. It has grown and it has grown exponentially. Initially, when we first started it, it was just a Monday evening. Myself and actually Dr. Gore, um, GYN, offered those hours Mondays. The funny thing was, when I would look at my schedule, those Monday evenings were the first appointments to fill up. Um, I added a nurse practitioner, Jamie Hamm, to work with me too, and we started brainstorming. And she's like, well, I'd be willing to do some evenings as well. So with her help, we combined and started a brand new model in January. And now we offer extended hours Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, routinely to patients. So their yearly physical, if they're sick, anything they need, we offer appointments until 6.30 in the evening. That has now grown to evening hours being at Porter's Neck, Brunswick Forest now does it, our Monkey Junction office, so we're able to provide more access to patients at the times they need it. So basically, the patient by now coming to us, it is less expensive for them to do, see us rather than a medic and urgent care or even go to the ER for those acute visits. But not only are they getting a cost savings by staying with their primary care physician for those evening appointments, they're also getting better continuity of care because we have access to all of their records and their health care so there's no delay in treating that problem.